Welcome to PTG TV. This is your host, Antonio Hicks, aka Escaping the Matrix, back with my co host, Miss Tamika Day. In this episode of season two, we're highlighting Black small businesses for our new business spotlight segment. Welcoming on our very first special guest and young entrepreneur of Susu Lemonade Crush. Welcome on to the show. Hi, thank you for inviting me. We're excited to be here. So, can you tell us a little bit about Susu Lemonade Crush? How you came up with the name and what is it that you all do? Yes. My name is Prashana Elamine Foster. I am the mother of the budding kidpreneur, Suhaila Foster. Suhaila is a seven-year-old who wanted to start a limit band last year in August during the pandemic. So we were thinking about the idea of how we're going to have a lemonade stand, considering all the restrictions of COVID and um, just looking at all the different obstacles. So we were thinking about just different names and um, we just kind of kicked around some ideas. And my daughter came up with the name Susu Lemonade Crush. Um, and it was based basically on her name. Her name is Suhaila, we call her Susu. And she wanted a lemonade that will um, allow you to have a crush on it. Like you have a crush, <laughs> your favorite things your favorite candy or whatever. So she wanted it a name where you can have a crush on her lemonade. So that's why we came up with the idea Susu Lemonade Crush. That's an adorable name. That, that, that now, now that you say that, see, you didn't tell me that when we, I met you at the market. So I met I met uh, Susu and Suhaila when I was out at the market for, what was that in the West End, right? Yes, it's the West End. There's a, a vending event that usually happens on Sundays. So yes. Mm -hmm. And so we saw her out there and she was pushing this lemonade. Now we had stopped by a bunch of shops because I was out there with one of my friends and like a little mentor, Tori, I'm sorry, Dr. Victoria Seals, the president of Atlanta Technical College and one of her board members. And we were out for a walk and we just happened to come across this, uh, the stands for a lot of businesses out there. And I will say we were impressed by your stand because clearly we stopped using the first one we actually shopped at <laughs> because we had walked around a, a whole bunch of places because you know, I for one, and my co-host as well, Miss Tamika. But Tamika, we uh we love supporting small businesses, we love supporting black businesses, but we love, we love supporting our babies. So when we saw that, which if you can tell by our energy, we had to give you a we, we had to show you some love and give you a shout out, because I think I did give you a shout out that day too, once I uh <laughs> tasted it. And I actually want, and I'm glad that you came on. I wanted to bring you on so we could spotlight it and you tell us a little bit more about your business and like you just said, how she got started with it and what's driving her on continuing to push forward. So like I said, I'm glad that you came on. I'm glad that this, that this young lady actually pursued this business. And I'm glad for you as mothers and your father and, and the husband too, that you are pushing her and her pursuing her dreams. Absolutely. So it's a family business. I have four children. So um, we have each of our children have a part in the business. Suhaila, she's a CEO. We have Naeem, he's the CFO. And then we have Shweb, he's the... Uh, CMO. Um, so we have um, Shweb, he does everything. Naeem, he does the financial aspect of it. And Suhaila, she comes up with the different ideas and um, definitely kind of um, helps us in the creative aspect with uh, different commercials and different pictures that we put on IG. Mm -hmm. So we have everyone involved and we definitely just want to um, just push the product and just uh, let everybody in Atlanta know about our lemonade. So as a serial entrepreneur and a mom, I am so excited. So congratulations. We are just ecstatic. I am happy that your kids are so involved. Look at what mm -hmm. you're doing at an early age, how you're teaching them work ethic, responsibility. You know, they already have job titles. Um, I'm sure they're young. So let's talk about how do you keep them involved with um, schoolwork as well as launching a product? How do you them? Yes. So all my children are very active in sports. So that's one thing that um, keeps them busy outside of the business. But uh, I encourage them to um, and, and to let their friends know about the product. So whenever there's an event at the school, such such as there was a small business event at my my daughter Suhaila's um, 
elementary school. It was a small business event. So we definitely pushed the product, talk about the product. We had a commercial um, that was advertised during that week with the, the businesses that they were launching, um, different information about the different businesses. So we um, went ahead and did a commercial so all of the kids were in the commercial. Um, they tell the teachers about it during Teacher Appreciation Week. We definitely um, in, enjoy our teachers and want to acknowledge them for everything that they have done. So we definitely you know, support them by giving them the product and that helps advertise the product. And then they have a chance to taste it and then let other people know about the product as well. So uh, we kind of, uh, fold everything together because we you know the teachers are involved with teaching our children. So we um, honor them um, by giving them some of the product during Teacher Appreciation Week and then also um, participate in the different events throughout the year when they um, actually recognize small businesses. So we do our advertisements as well. So how did you come up with the, so how did she come up with the flavors that you have? Yes. And can you tell us a little bit about your flavors? Okay, so our first flavor is the strawberry lemonade. Now this was something that we wanted to just start off not with the standard lemonade. We wanted something a little bit different. And since she likes strawberries, we said, okay, let's try strawberry. So we did a lot of research on the formula and it took us several different tries, but mm -hmm. we came up with the ingredients and then we um, had our friends and family taste it. And based on their input, we came up with the final um, product, which is the strawberry lemonade. Mm -hmm. So um, that was our first product. And so in the fall, we wanted to start something a little bit different and something new. So we came up with Susu Lemonade Crush, the peach lemonade. Um, and it's fire. Yeah. Yeah. So we wanted to have something different. Now it's a little bit of frost on here because when we make the product in order to keep it fresh, we have to freeze it. So yeah. um, that but uh, we started with the fall with the peach. And so everybody really enjoyed the peach. It's a little bit thicker than the strawberry, but we use all natural ingredients. We use real fruit. We only have five ingredients in this product and the colors are established by the actual fruit since we use fruit for it. Um, so we started with the peach in the fall. Uh, and then in the, going into the winter, we tried the blueberry. Now the blueberry was initially um, suggested by a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And so I was a little bit apprehensive about having blueberry because I like blueberries, but as far as having it as a drink, I was a little apprehensive a about it, but we tried it. We had, um, we, we did our little trials of making the lemonade and having our friends taste it. And it has been an instant hit. I mean, this blueberry is just amazing. Um, so basically we came up with the different flavors based on our friends input and also changing with the seasons so we have strawberry peach and blueberry lemonade and that's the only ones we have at this time you have any new ones coming up you know that's a good question i've had <laughs> some, suggest some some different flavors mm -hmm. but we're still trying to make sure we um focus on these three but uh, we do have some in the works, but we mm -hmm. also have other products that we are going to be launching later on this year. So we're going to focus our attention on those different products. Oh, well, tell me about your logo. I see your shirt. I see it on the front of the bottle. Very cute and inspiring. So how did you all come up with the logo and design for the product? Yes. So our um, my brother-in-law is actually a graphic arts designer. So like I said, it's a family business. We want to get the whole family involved. And so we talked to him about the, the name of the product. And so he gave us several different options to choose from. And um, we end up coming up with this option because Suhaila, she usually wears her hair in little twists and little bows. And um, you know, she's a little girl. So we wanted to have that implemented in the product. So um, that's basically how we came up with this little logo with her and the little puff balls basically on the side. And then she's always smiling. And uh, when she was little, we used to call her Mrs. Cheeks because she had huge cheeks. So, <laughs> so that's why we kind of have the whole um, smiling and, and, you know, kind of round face and everything just due to her and her, her um, how she looks. Mm -hmm. 
Now, the consistency of your formula, how did you come up with that? Because it's not traditional. So when you watch it, all her stuff is good. And I love that peach. I mean, especially being, you know, a, a peach boy. <laughs> the Lord peach. The that peach is good. <laughs> so how did you come up with the consistency of it? Because like you said, it's a little thicker than the rest. All of them are a little thicker than regular standard lemonade. Yes. Well, um, we just end up working on, we just had to basically, um, we came up with the formula. We mm -hmm. came up method on how we make our product because every time you taste it, it you will have the same quality because we basically have quality control. My background is engineering and it's chemical engineering. So I like to throw that out there. Your background is what? Chemical engineering. Shout out to the to the engineers. <laughs> shout out to Shout out to the Shout out to the mixology. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> no, because I'm a, I'm a network security engineer, so I, I'm always repping engineers. But go ahead. I'm sorry. I don't mean to cut you off. And I'm a licensed cosmetologist, so I understand the mixing and chemicals and putting things together. So, Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So to be completely honest, I had to kind of tap into that background to mm -hmm. make, have the same consistency and viscosity of the you know, the liquid and everything. So um, that's something that I haven't even said until now. <laughs> <laughs> People kind of know a little bit of our trade secrets that, you know, we do have some engineers here that mm -hmm. have a particular formula. So, um, we do have quality control. Every product that we put out there, we sample it to make sure that it is up to our standards. Um, so that's basically why you, when you purchase the product, you get the same consistency on it. And like I said, it's good. <laughs> it's, I need to order me some uh, some more because I, I want to get the job. So you do have, you have, okay, but let's talk about this. You have two different sizes that people can order. Yes. So we have the 12 ounce sizes, which are right here. Mm -hmm. And then we also have the liter container in their glass liter containers. And typically people order those for different events and things like that. We have a website where you can order the products and we are only local for the glass containers. So we typically do pickup. Um, or uh, deliveries for the glass containers and the 12 ounce containers. So um, typically when we have an event, like we have an event coming up this Saturday, we have our orders that people place and then they can pick them up at that event or we can coordinate um, picking it up or meeting up to deliver the products. Now, question about the business itself. So every kid has their business they're starting. I used to be the candy man in school and I, was, I made a ton of money out of school. I, I was selling candy. So, what made you all want to put your passion behind what Suela wanted to do? Well, we want to encourage our children to be authentically themselves. And to be completely honest, when my daughter thought about this lemonade stand, I was thinking, oh my goodness, everybody wants to sell lemonade when they're a kid. You know, mm -hmm. how is it like stand out? Um, you know, outside of everybody else. How can our product be different? So um, I just encourage my children to think outside the box um, and just come up with different ideas and also just reach for it. You never know what's gonna happen. Right. So when we originally thought about this idea, we were just gonna do it for a week because I ordered these little bottles and we were just gonna sell it for a week. But we sold 125 eight ounce strawberry containers in a week. And when we did that, we said, you know what? Maybe this is something we need to pursue. <laughs> yes. Ooh, wow. That's a lot. It is. It is. Um, and the thing about it is we didn't just sit around in the neighborhood. We actually went to an event and mm. we sold. But we weren't actually vending there. We were just kind of, you know, we were there and we had the, the product and people wanted it and, and we sold it. And once one person purchased it, they said, oh, give me three more. So it was kind of wow. like that. So I encourage our children to, um, you know, if, if somebody walk by the vending desk and say, no, I'm not interested, that's okay. It's other people out there that might be interested. So, you know, just use your personality and say, you know, say what you feel would be good to let people know that this is a great product. Come by our table, try it, you'll enjoy it. You'll definitely have a smile and you'll definitely get a crush on it. So to all of our parents that are watching the show and listening, listen to your kids. Mm -hmm. Some of them know what they're talking about when you train them right. So I just think it's, um, it's just awesome. Please tell us how we can purchase your product. What's the actual um, 
website or your social media so that others can go out and follow you. Um, that's, that's what we need from you. Absolutely. We have presence on Facebook and IG. And on our Facebook page is Susu Lemonade Crush. We have our website on there. It's a Shopify website. You can select the link there and I'll also provide you all that information. Um, this weekend we will be uh, at an event locally and I'll have that information as well to post. So um, the, the product can be purchased on our website as well as the event we have this weekend on Saturday. Awesome. So how are everybody feeling about the success of the business? Everybody is really excited and they just want to get paid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everybody wants to get paid. Everybody they don't pay. understand marketing materials. Things have to be purchased. The domain name. That's Absolutely. a whole nother show that we will bring you back to talk about <laughs> how to start your business and what to expect the unexpected. So, yeah. So, yeah. Everybody wants to get paid. Yes, yes. but we let them know, okay, this is our business, but we have to pour back into it. Mm -hmm. So, they're kind of getting to understand that as well. Even though you have a business, you're not going to see all the monetary benefits of it right away. Mm -hmm. And we'll be coming up on a year in August, um, but we still are working on pouring back into the business. So that's basically our focus. Um, we're focusing on expanding our business, focusing on the Atlanta area mm -hmm. and products that we'll be launching in the fall. So how have you experienced growth wise? Is it just isolated to Atlanta or has like being having a social media presence gotten you outside of the Georgia area? Well, we have had some customers that wanted to order the product outside of Atlanta. Uh -huh. uh, we have Alabama, um, Texas and Ohio. So we have shipped in these different locations, mm -hmm. um, but we had to have a pause on the shipping during the holiday season due to the fact of the backlog um, right. because the product has to be refrigerated and the two-day delivery was not working out it was usually being delivered later than that so um, we do have some deliveries on the just the 12 ounce containers um, and that can be viewed on our website as well but okay. we're focused on uh, establishing a presence in the Atlanta market. We really want to focus on establishing a presence in different restaurants in the area, um, different local restaurants um, that can have our product there and um, be able to kind of spread the word out there. Okay. Now, as far as supply chain goes, because you, you make up a good point about trying to get it into the restaurants, could you meet a high demand? Do you think you can meet a high demand? Well, we are limited right now, okay. but focus on a particular, like if we're focused on a particular restaurant, I believe that we can service it. Uh, we have a certain amount of capacity. Mm -hmm. um, have, we just we just need the, the customers and, and we'll definitely be able to, to meet a certain demand. Yes. Okay. And I say that because I don't typically highlight a lot of stuff that I do, but I will highlight this because like I said, I like helping out small businesses. Mm -hmm. So I do, I, I am over like, event management and membership for the, I'll just say it, the Democratic Party, the Gwinnett Democratic Party. <laughs> and okay. so I do get a chance where well, I am, I'm in, I'm in contact with a ton of small businesses with restaurants and stuff. So no, I, and I, you know, I do like your product. I said, I had, I've had all three flavors and they're all good. And I love the, the consistency of it because it's not a traditional lemonade. So I can't, I ask that question because I will present your stuff and see if they will be interested in bringing some of it in. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you. We really appreciate it. And also we, uh, we do support different um, camps and things like that. So we have order camps um, and we have one camp actually in Florida that's going to be ordering for their, um, their teenagers for their camp. So we do support those as well. As long as we get the orders in advance, we're able to, to be, um, to fill those orders as well. Now, now you did talk about the two day shipping. So the two day shipping, does that coincide with the the mixture itself? Because anything longer than that will cause it to lose the consistency that you're hoping? No, actually we have tested the product out being shipped and uh -huh. um, even within five days of being delivered, the product is still a good product okay. because when they're, when they're made, they're preserved. So that helps actually helps with, um, with the shelf life of the product. Yeah, because it's thick. It's it's thick. I, and I love it. Like I said, I do. Because it's like, it's not a traditional, like a light lemonade. 
like it has that thickness to it. So it's almost like feeling when you get done drinking it as well. Absolutely. It's, it's almost like a kind of like a meal replacement, I'd say. Mm -hmm. um, and also, even though it's labeled Susu Lemonade, I think the strawberry is mainly for kids. The peach and the blueberry, I really like it for adults because um, I think it's a nice um, mimosa. Like you can mix it with um, sparkling grape juice and things like that. Mm -hmm. And it really allows it to have a really nice flavor as well. So um, I know I have some people who have purchased the product who have done reviews and who's, who's shown how they actually um, drink the product. So some people mix it with sparkling uh, grape juice or ginger ale and things like that, just to kind of add a different flavor because it's like, it's a treat. It's not like you're just getting some juice to drink with your food. It's actually a treat where you just sit down and kind of relax and enjoy the whole experience of drinking the lemonade. And it is a kid-friendly show, but you can't mix it with adult I was just, I was just about to say, <laughs> we are not, I was about to say the same thing. That's how much we are so in tune. Ooh, this is not a kid-friendly show. So you are welcome to mix it with any mm -hmm. adult beverage of mm. your choice. Mm. It's good. So my wife has mixed it with, she loves the strawberries. So she's mixed it with her smoothies. But yeah, I did mix mine yes. with some um some So you beverages. can mix it with an adult <laughs> beverage. I I'll just go ahead and plug that in for you. <laughs> Absolutely don't wonderful. Don't <laughs> again, partner. Don't tell Susan. No, 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 no. No, that's not for the babies. That's for the grown folks. That's for the grown folks. <laughs> the babies can focus on the strawberry and just drinking it with the straws and stuff. The grown folks. Right. Know, we go ahead and At our them. house, we call it the big man drink. So it is great for you to have <laughs> your big man drink. But so, I just love the concept. And um, I'm what I'm getting out of this as an entrepreneur is we hear it all the time and people say it so much, it become a cliche. Don't reinvent the wheel, mm -hmm. prove it. You, mm -hmm. did, you took something as simple, old fashioned that we probably have all done as kids, maybe even squeeze lemonade. People go to restaurants, order sugar, take the lemonade, squeeze it in the water. Um, and you've enhanced a product that's unlimited, right? And you can make it your own. So to those of you that are watching or that's listening, um, I hope that you're learning this from these entrepreneurs that you can take something that's already there and you can enhance it and improve it. And that's one thing that I've learned from listening to you today. And I just want to say congratulations to food. So can you tell us a little bit about what you're introducing in the fall? Well, I don't want to kind of open the door yet because we're still in the works on it. And mm -hmm. I don't, well, it just in case we have to push back the launch a little longer. Okay. But say this, um, it's not a actual um, edible product. Mm -hmm. It's something that kind of can um, help with, um, my daughter, she likes to draw. Let's say that. She likes to draw. She enjoys drawing, coloring, and things like that. So it's going to be somewhere along those lines. Okay. Well, she's a creative. I love those creative kids mm -hmm. because a lot of times they don't, they don't have a, sometimes a space Mm -hmm. um, to where that's wel where that's welcoming, you know, and especially with technology now, I have a creative kid. And so, I mean, I'm back to buying sketch pads, um, drawing mm -hmm. pencils, um, and keeping her into that. My father's an artist. Um, I'm more of a creative as a hairstylist. So we have to look at the different ways that we mm -hmm. introduce art into our kids and that we introduce their passions and their creativity and not just giving them you know, the only options that we hear about so much. So mm -hmm. Tonio and I, we are very, I'll say non-stereotypical when it comes to how we educate, train, and support us. You know, it, it, it's open. Mm -hmm. and so that's, that's great. So whenever you get ready to launch for the fall, just know you have a space here with us on PTG TV to come back and say, hey, y'all, I'm ready to launch this amazing product. And I would love to... Um, share that with you and we would love to support it um, in any way possible. Thank you all so much. So as we wrap it up, can you tell us again, like where you're going to be at tomorrow? Like, do you just do in all the events that you want to participate in and what's like up, up and coming for you all? Yes. So this weekend we'll be at the Atlanta Indie Market, which will be on Cascade Road. The address is 2343 Cascade Road. And we Event, event from 12 to 5 
Um, if you like the place to order for the one liter glass containers, you can place them on our website. You can access the website through our Facebook page, Susu Lemonade Crush. We have the link there on the information section. Um, so you can place the order at that time. We're typically uh, vending on Sundays in the West End. However, if you would like to place a special order, you can just select our website and they'll contact us directly in regards to purchasing any of our items. Awesome. Now, one thing I do ask, and I know this is, we, we, we highlight in small businesses, but I still ask this, even though it's the first segment, uh, we ask if we, people, those are guests that come on to give back to the community, to give something nice and positive because we're surrounded by so much turmoil, especially when it comes to small businesses and small businesses suffering from this pandemic. And you all have created something that's flourishing and is blooming into something bigger than what you initially thought it would be. So can you give a word of encouragement to all those striving to even just to get to where you are? Yeah, I say always follow your dream. No dream is too small. It will eventually flourish into something you wouldn't even imagine. So always pursue your dreams, never suppress them. All right, and Mr. Mika Day, if you want to leave us with a thought. Yes, the best way to predict the future is to create it. And so we love the fact that Susu Crush Lemonade is creating the future. And your hashtag? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so into the lemonade and thinking about <laughs> The product, you know, my mind over here is going and we will see you definitely on tomorrow. <laughs> I will definitely be there. So once again, I am for me today. I'm your co-host for PCG TV. Um, I am for me today is how you can reach me on social media. Hashtag success is my poop power. And I'm Antonio Hicks, Mr. Escape in the Matrix. You can find us on ptgtv.online. It has all of our links in there for our social media and for the Discord and for our game on the side as well, too. I thank our special guest for coming on today, and I'm excited to finally have her on and the family on, even though the family's behind the scenes, but they're still in, they're still there present because I love the product. I love what I love what she started. And I love what they're doing to help out with their children and, and inspire them to do something great. And that's one thing that we can learn from this family, especially when it comes to our children. The same as mine, because I have two boys and one of my youngest, he's a graphic designer. And he started his own comic book and he's pushing it on social media and is on his website. So continue to push forward no matter what is in your way, because we're all faced with barriers throughout our life. But those barriers are meant to lift us up, to inspire us to reach to new goals. And as you make it over one, it will help you push you up to something even better. So thank you all again. Thank you again for being on the show. <laughs> and we definitely will do what we can to push your business out there and highlight the product. Because like I said, we love you all, and especially love you as a family doing what you're doing for the community and for what you, for uh, the children. Again, thank I'm Antonio you. Hicks. Thank you again. I'm sorry, you want to say something? I said thank you so much. You're welcome. And if you are listening on Apple Podcasts, please leave a like, subscribe to it, leave us a comment so we can look at your comments. Thank you all for tuning in. Again, I'm Mrs. Tiffany Matrix. Love you all. Happy podcasting.